Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloudy13 here. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing more on uh, Bowser's Fury, um, Super Mario 3D World. Hopefully we can finish Bowser's Fury today and then move on to 3D World. I, I still haven't checked how many um, cat shines there actually is, but we have like 50, or a little bit more than 50, so we're going to keep going on and see if we can finish it. I don't think there's going to be that many more. Like, I doubt it'd be like 120, like usually... Usually 120 would be, like, the Mario number for, like, completion stars and stuff, but hopefully we can just, um, get through that and move on. But thanks for coming and watching, I really appreciate it, and let's get a move on. What was I don't even remember what I was doing before. I do know the stream was having some issues last time. Of course, Bowser's showing up immediately. Um, I don't know what was going on with that like what was related to the streaming issues but facebook was having some issues i think because uh, get down there <laughs> where's plessy i need me some Loch Ness monster there she is oh god oh god Yeah, I can't imagine there's too much more to do. Um, oh, he's doing it again! He's doing it again! Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude. I can't get over Bowser. It's amazing. Um, okay, so we have one here, but I can't do it yet, it looks like. I'm going to probably have to leave and come back. I have to make the lighthouse shine over here. There's this one, which I don't know what that is. There's one way over here. E to the cat shrine. I'm going to go do that one, I think. Um, there's still a couple here, I think. Even though this is the first area, it looks like there's still something to do because it's not checked off. And then there's the one over here, which I don't know what that is. Um, but we're going to head down this way once Bowser gets the hell out of my way. Look at these fish out of here. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, dude! He's not messing around, really. Like, I love this Bowser. I can't get over it. It's so cool that they made him a constant antagonist. Yeah, it looks like it's over here. There's a key one here? Oh, that sounds terrible. But yeah, it was either me streaming this today, or I was going to stream the new Outriders demo, so I, I opted for this, um, because I don't know what Square Enix would do about the streaming of the demo. I'm sure they're fine with it, but I didn't want to take any chances, like getting some sort of problem happening. But I will be playing the Outriders demo, because uh, obviously I need to... Uh, I'm gonna, I have that game, so I want to get a head start because the progress carries over. Get over there. Holy crap. So 60. What do you think? 65, maybe? That'd be a, that's a weird number. I'm okay with it, but... Oh my god, the seagulls. Alright, so we got the cat chime right here. Propeller. I like it. I like propeller. Propeller's like the best box ever less likely I'm going to die. But the likelihood of me dying is still there. Especially here, because for some reason the lava um, is one shot, which kind of sucks. Key's probably all the way at the top, isn't it? For some bullshit. I ordered a new gaming mouse. My taxes finally came in. So I am uh, I ordered a, um, a Rat 8 Plus, which is like a Mad Cat's gaming mouse. I guess they're really friggin' nice. Um, my buddy has had a rat mouse for, like, years, and he loves it. So, I was like, alright, I'm sick of buying peripherals, so I kind of want something that's going to last a little bit longer. Um, so that was my choice, was getting the rat. But it should be good. It's supposed to be here today. I was surprised. Um, it actually took, like, no time at all to get here. Dude. There it is, you sneaky bastard. Is there... No, there's no way. There's no way. 
Uh, I see what I have to do, and I don't, I don't like it. It wants me to go all the way back this way, using like the lava and crap. But the problem is, is it sucks, is you have to hold the uh, button. I'm considering jumping down to that little section down there, and somehow. Is it possible to do that? Like, from anywhere up here? It looks like if I... It looks like I'm lined up right here. If I jump down here and I just walk along that thing, this will be done really quick. One up the shadow! Dude. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna walk along this. Do not drop that key. This is actually probably the easier way to do this than actually taking that fire hell path. I'm trying to make sure my camera doesn't go all wonky. Because Mario's very slippy slidey when you need to do precise movements. Mm. This is a very thin uh, piece right here. No. I need to move it. Alright, we're good. Give me this! <laughs> Screw you, Bowser! <laughs> I, that was awful. <laughs> Holy crap. I got my coffee too, so we're good today. We got a. Uh, I got my Irish cream coffee. I don't even care, Bowser. Get the hell out of here! I haven't bought a new monitor yet. I still have to do that. Um, I'm gonna be looking at prices and stuff. I did find one I think I like though. Um, it's got two ports. It's Vizio. Um, I'm just going to be using it mostly as a secondary monitor and for game capture, so I don't use my PC monitor for that. My PC monitor is strictly for, like, PC gaming. Like, on the PC end of things. It's just, I like the curved monitor better. So this is done. Thank you, God. Okay, so we're moving on to this. I don't know what is up here, and I know these two still got to get done. Um, I bet you this last one right here is probably find that last cat. Or find that last two cats. Oh, so we're going to do a lot of looking around, I guess. <clears throat> I'm thinking 65, though. Which is, a we like I said, a weird number. They wouldn't choose 69. That would be weird. That would be Nintendo. I don't think they would choose 69 as a completion star. <laughs> that would be amazing, though. Hey, by the way, my streams are 18+, plus. just letting you know. <laughs> I don't ever put it in the uh, description, but it is. I wish there was a way to mark it as such, because it, it is 18. It should be 18+. plus. Oh. We have fun here. I went the wrong freaking way. <clears throat> All right, back to my least favorite place to go is this place. Or there should be new stuff to do here. Oh, it's Shadow Luigi. I'm kind of happy it's Shadow Luigi. <laughs> That's probably going to change in a minute, but Come on. Damn it. See, this is, this is why it's going to suck, because he's going to be doing this. <clears throat> See how much I slid right there? Holy crap. Luckily, uh, baby Bowser's picking up my slack. Get over here, you ass. I can't even see. Yes. 
I saw there was a video of this doing the uh, some dude playing this on YouTube, and he was doing the complete complete the game completely while crouching, and I'm like, that that sounds like the worst time ever. Why would you even bother? I know it's for some sort of like you know personal achievement sort of thing, but like holy crap, I wouldn't even be having fun if that was the case. Um, okay, so that's done. We're gonna move back over to here. Like I said, I don't know what's going on right here, but I do know there's these two sections. And then there's that last one at the beginning. I don't know what else is there. Maybe that's like once you finish Bowser off, you get one more and it's right there. Who knows? I don't know. I've never played this mode before. Um, I'd probably be a little bit more familiar with things if we were playing uh, 3D World, but that will be afterwards. Oh, sorry, I'm coming in a little bit earlier than normal. Um, that Outriders demo comes out at noon, so I'm going to uh, stream for a couple hours. Um, probably through noon. And then, you know, I wanted to have some time during the day to play through that a little bit, so... That, and I'm waiting for my mouse to get here. It's supposed to be here um, in a little bit, actually. It's on the way. I gotta replace my Joy-Con uh, control stick, too. I purchased a um, repair kit. I didn't buy much with my tax return. I'm trying to save as much as possible just to um, catch up with bills and um, <clears throat> to also put some money away towards our uh, our tiny house we want, but it's going to be... I want to make sure we at least... Uh, I grab a couple things. Like, I need to fix that Joy-Con. Literally, it's... My <laughs> People have the drifting issue. I've replaced um, the shell and the control stick on one of mine before. And the problem I'm having right now is that the joystick is literally spinning. Like, you can take it and twist it. <laughs> so I have to replace it again. It kind of sucks. <clears throat> it's cheap to do, though. Hurry, hop behind the wall. <clears throat> Which wall? Of course, he shows up immediately. I'm going to wait for him to go away, because there's no way I'm going to have a good time doing this if he's doing this crap. Hey, Bowser, you want to stop now? Oh, dude. I still think he's so cool, though. Like, holy crap. What a cool Bowser. I do not get tired of it. It's just like, um, it reminds me, and it's still kind of rem reminiscent of, like, Breath of the Wild. Every time you do something in that game, it's always raining, and it's always messing with you. This is kind of a similar idea. <laughs> it is raining, for sure. Yeah, I apologize to everyone last time, too, for my stream cutting out at the end. <clears throat> I got no notification that that happened. So... I didn't, you guys didn't even get to see the end bit where I like, was like, oh, yeah, have, you know, have a good day or whatever. It kind of sucked. Um, I lost like 20 minutes for some, some friggin' reason. I don't know why. Like I said, Streamlabs usually gives you a notification. I didn't get one. And, um, it took forever for Facebook to finally upload the quality to, um, 720 at least to watch so like you guys like if you were watching the video afterwards it was 380p and it looked awful so i apologize for that i don't know what was going on that day hopefully today's a better day for that because um it was kind of um discouraging <clears throat> are we up behind the wall uh... No, 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 you friggin' piece of shit. Why am I way the F over here? I'm so angry, you stupid... Magikoopa. I should have had the friggin' cat on. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to, um... 
well, part of it was a good idea to do Tanuki because of the random, like, all of a sudden you gotta do the floaty jump thing. Let's see if we can do this again. I'm, I'm, like, imagining that you have to blow those up, but there's gotta be a way to get over to it that does not involve you blowing crap up. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't know why it would do that, though. It, like, randomly just closed out near the end before. Um, I hope that does not happen today, because it's, like I said, very discouraging. It's like... I have everything running well, so it's like I'm hoping things are running great on your end. Um, luckily, I do have, like, you know, people I know watching that are like, Oh, well, this all of a sudden cut out. And I'm like, I didn't know. It didn't, I didn't even notice it did. Um, and then I went back to watch it, and I lost like 20 minutes. I'm like, what the hell? So I guess sometimes it's going to happen. But hopefully a lot, you know, you far in between. Cause it's, like I said, it sucks. Yeah, I'm going all the way. I don't know why I went all the way around. Screw it. <laughs> uh, I noticed that lighthouse needs to be lit. I haven't even gone up there yet, have I? Up in, I don't know, Ronald McDonald's playhouse up there. I've had a great time with this mode, though. Like, I really liked everything about Bowser's Fury. I hope that Nintendo... I hope this isn't just a fleeting thought for them. I hope this is, like, kind of like how Mario is next. Like, oh, you have an inventory. Oh, it's, like, you know, a little bit more open world. Um, kind of like Odyssey's levels. He needs two more cats. So... I see the one over there, but I don't know how I'm going to get him back. All I can think of is, like, he's right here. Can I, like... He just deleted himself from existence. Can I walk along this pipe? Can I... Can I... The noise it makes is awesome. You can! No shit. Get your cat butt over here. Okay, we got one more, I think. He needs one more of his kitty children. So, see that one up there? It's got to be more than 65, because... I see one up there. I haven't even been over there yet. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I thought I was going to die. I didn't know it was going to be like a, a pass-through thing. Luckily, he can't get me in here, so we're good in that regard. What's going on here? <laughs> he wanted to go up there. This is a mess. Uh, 3D World's very big on this whole glass pipe idea, and they're pretty cool as a puzzle mechanic. Holy crap, do they... They're definitely confusing the crap out of me right now. <laughs> so you would think that would go that way, but it's probably a different one. Might be this one. Yeah. I'm staying in here until Bowser goes away. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it for that one right there. Moving on. Can you go away, dude? Holy crap. I'm gonna have to walk on these ones.
Oh. Come on, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. I need the cat. Damn it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love this. I don't know why. Like, this game puts me in such a good mood. I'll, like most Mario games do, but holy crap. I love creative level design. I think that's why um, 3D World's so special to me. No, you... Do not. That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Bowser, for getting half of those. I don't think I got all the cat shines from here. There's one right there. That's the last one. But I will get you. So what, 70 maybe? <clears throat> There's still quite a few kicking around. I have a funny feeling those bricks down there either has the cat in it or a shine. I'm not sure. Hey, thanks for liking the stream. I appreciate it. Oh, crap. Okay, so we have to... We have to get that guy over there. I think I could probably spoof this somehow. Not do it the right way. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, why do it the right way? Are those spikes going to pop out? Please, no. <laughs> Alright, we don't even need to go in here now. We got what we needed. Okay, so... Alright, Path Tower. So there's going to be more here, I'm assuming? Yippee. How many are there? Like, I'm seriously curious. Yeah, thanks for coming and watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like what you watch here, feel free to follow me on Facebook or um, share the stream or like the stream. That way you'll know when I go live and it helps support me. Um, thank you very much and thanks for watching. I stream about two to three times a week, retro and current day releases as well, so all sorts of stuff. Um, after we finish Bowser's Fury, we're going to go into 3D World, and then um, I don't know what we're going to stream next. I'm not sure. Like, the world is my oyster. I have plenty of games to stream. All right, so I think we're done here for now. It looks like there's another Plessy thing right there. Yippee skippy. Where are you, Plessy? What's going on over there, sir? Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. I wonder if you're playing this game in handheld mode, you can just touch the screen. Probably. That's probably what it is. Um, I do like how they incorporated motion controls. I'm interested to see what they did with uh, 3D World's whole uh, control scheme, because there's, there's quite a bit of touch control going on in that game, too. Back when... Uh, that came out on Wii U. Oh, you got to be kidding me. And I got Bowser chasing me, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Slip to the shine. Get out of here, Bowsy. so awesome. My friend was like, does he chase you, like, the whole time? Like, yeah, he's, like, a, he's, like, around all the time. Like, he shows up every, like, five or six minutes. 
which is awesome. I kind of like having a constant antagonist. All right, so we got more up here. I don't know what it's going to give me next for Pipe Path Tower. Um, there's that area, which I don't know. All of a sudden I can go there now, it looks like, or something. I don't know. I suppose we'll find out. We still have one more cat we got to find for the Mama Cat. But I don't know where Mama Cat, last cat, is. I have to catch you again. It's not another one, is it? No, I didn't think so. I thought it was another one. Just a clear boy. So is he just like hanging out in that pile of sludge right now? That's like his hangout spot. He can't go anywhere else. We've isolated him. <clears throat> I can't wait for my gaming mouse. Like I said, it's supposed to be here today. I'm like pumped. Um, if you've been with the stream for any length of time and you've watched I've said in the past that my mouse is having issues where my right click button doesn't work and that's actually useful for most first person shooters so having that is key I have a feeling this is a secret star or secret shine or whatever P huh I bet you're gonna be fun No, 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 go, 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 go. Damn it. I should have gotten that one afterwards. So I'm going to have to do these in a certain order, kind of. A little bit different than before. Damn it! You gotta be kidding me! Oh man, I. <laughs> We're so close. Ugh. It's funny because um, I noticed that when that ends, it's literally. Dude, don't fireballs get coins? I think they might. Um, it's interesting because when that ends, it kind of ends when you don't think it's gonna end. Like it clicks a few more times, gets a little bit faster, and then like. All of a sudden, you think it's going to be like, make a noise when it's over, but it does not. Thank God we're done. <clears throat> I want to get this, and then I'm going to um, go to those blocks, which I think they're off to my left. I think they're on the, the reverse side where he is right now. So obviously we got to... Damn it, he went away. That's because I got the cat shine. Speaking of cat, mine has decided to get in the way at the moment. Get out of here, Kirby! <clears throat> He's like, I want attention. You're saying a lot of things about cats, and I don't like it. I went to go get coffee earlier. I was like, yeah, I need, I need cat. I've been drinking energy drinks, and 
I have to stop because I am to so tired of like the crash afterwards. And I sip them too. I don't like chug them. And uh, the problem is, is that I'll I don't understand how they're good for gaming. At least for me, they're not because I feel like um, I'm just I'll drink it. I'll be good for like two hours, and then I'm like extremely tired afterwards. I'm like, well, this isn't like, this isn't good for gaming. If you want a game, like, I'd say sip coffee, honestly, which I normally do, but um, that keeps me up for like a long period of time instead of like just two hours. It's probably just the level of sugar, but for me, it just doesn't. It's not as good. Um, it definitely helps to have coffee and just sip on it. I'm just waiting for Bowser at this point. I want him to break those blocks. I gotta go get that. Something up there. I don't know where that last cat is, but luckily we only have one more to go. Maybe it is 70. Maybe it is 70 shines. I don't know. My friend's like, cat shines, huh? I'm like, yes, everything is cat related and it's wonderful. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love my cats. So, I, like, it, like I said, if you've ever watched me for any length of time on stream, you'll know I love cats. I love my cats. I love, like, all cats. So, you're obviously, this is, like, amazing for me because I just, I think cats are adorable. <laughs> I love dogs, too, but we just can't have one. So, it's, like, um, my first actual pet, pretty much, that I own myself was not a cat, but it was a, um, like, a hermit crab. And then I've we've had family pets and stuff like dogs and you know I love them too but like my first actual pet that I've had on my own was actually Kirby and he's he's like my cat which is awesome. Um more my cat than my fiance is just because he just takes a shine to me more than her. But she has her pretty much her own cat too. Right, come on Bowser, I'm waiting be showing up soon. The thing is, is, I don't know if my gaming mouse is coming via, like, the postal service or if it's coming via um, Amazon's trucks. I'm not sure. I'm curious. Mainly because, um... The sooner it gets here, the better, obviously. I'm not going to hook it up on stream. I'll hook it up afterwards, but um, I want to be able to use it like as soon as possible because it just looks like it's going to be such a good time. I need to go over here. <clears throat> it is a shine. Nice. Blast the Fury Blocks. There's like hairs on my microphone. I'm like, these are bothering me. <laughs> probably from the cats. Yeah, it's still out for delivery. It's probably, based on the tracking number, it's probably Amazon's trucks. They get a very specific tracking number. It's usually got like a, um, a few letters in front of it. Like three letters and then like a bunch of numbers. Postal service is a little, um, the tracking number is a little bit different. It's usually just a bunch of numbers. I haven't ordered stuff online in forever. It, it's been so, like, trying to save money and stuff. This has been the prime focus, so that's been a thing. We have one more here, and I guarantee it's probably going to be either you got to rush to the end or you got to, like, um... It's not going to be blue coin related, I know that. Can we go off this way now? We can. 
I still don't know where that last cat is, but I'm pretty sure we'll find him. I'm going to assume he's down in this area. Oh, mag meow. Bag off, cat prince bully. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I don't I don't know if I want to stream. I do want to stream it. That's not the that's not the point. I don't think I want to stream the demo for um, Outriders because I don't know if Square Enix would have a problem with that. Um, I doubt it, but I really want to stream. I'll be streaming the game when it comes out for sure because I do have it. Um, like I said, a buddy of mine bought it for me, but I do want to play the demo. Um, get a few levels into it, get some gear, that whole bit. Get used to the controls and stuff. Um, but... Um, there's going to be plenty of the stream from then until it comes out April 1st, which is a funny date, I know, but, um, this being April Fool's Day, but I do want to, uh, get that, stream some of that, I, well, I already have it, but, I mean, get it streaming, um, but for March, I don't know what we're going to do, per se, we have to do, um, we still have to finish Time Spinner, we're going to be working on 3D World, Probably through some of March because it's not super short. There is a lot to do. Um, might throw another randomizer in there. We'll see. Or length of the past. I haven't decided. Um, there's like I said, there's a bunch of things we could do. Really. Can I break this, please? Or is that just non-breakable now? No, it's not a. Uh... Yeah, I knew it was going to hit me. Hey, you can roll. I forgot. Let's, uh, let's get something that's not hazardous to my health here. I can jump off the sides, right? Yeah. Like, that better be included. <laughs> like I said, just don't like how lav lava kills you, like, immediately. But, I mean, it makes, like I said, it makes sense. It's just... It had to make something, I guess, be a one hit. <laughs> Is this the beginning? Yeah, it is. Is that going to disappear? No. Thank God. Oh! Blocks! How did that, how did that not break? How did those not break? I was gonna say, how did those not break? Get in there and get that. <clears throat> if he's showing up right now, you bet your ass I'm gonna get those immediately. Get out of here, Bowsy. Man, that coffee hits the spot. Holy crap. It's been like, uh... I haven't bought a coffee in a little while, so... It's definitely, uh... Been nice. Because <laughs> it also costs a little bit of money to buy coffee. Damn it, come on, get over there. I'm wasting my power-ups here. Let's do one of the special bills. Lucky Cat Bell? Is that what it is, pretty much? Cat Mario is best Mario.
I basically said that back in 3D World too. I'm like, yeah, Mario is best Mario. Tell me otherwise. Absolutely. I mean, actually, Cat Rosalina is best Cat uh, Mario character. I actually play as Rosalina quite a bit in uh, 3D World. I probably will this time too. I like Rosalina. I think she's like the coolest princess in the Mario uh, franchise. What's the difference between this cat and the other one, though? Is it just the coin um, butt slam thing? Is there something over there? Probably. Butt wiggle! Yeah, of course there would be one of these over here. You sneaky bastard! Nintendo, why you do this to me? <clears throat> I, I thought I did the cat pounce. Oh, man. Thank you. There's one more. I don't know where it is. We'll find it afterwards. What's going on here? Is there a thing under here, probably? I can feel like a rumbling going on. Dude, Ugh. frick. Go, 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 go. That's amazing. <laughs> A lot of coinage. Get in there. Fight this dude. Oh, he's fuzzy. How do I fight him? Oh, okay. Interesting fight. He's really adorable. Get in there, you! Kind of weird looking at the same time, though. I don't think the cat bully was in the uh, 3D World game. I think it was just this one. But I like how they're changing all the enemies to be, like, cat-related. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, there's Bowser. I guess right on schedule. There's quite a uh, bit going on in this cat, like, cat mountain. Oh, there's a, um, bunny. It's the kitty! Yeah, I was right. My dude. Damn it, he's gonna be pissed off. I'll throw him in there for a little bit. Alright, Bowser, do your thing. He's right there. Oh. My. God. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna be blasting me that high. Give me this. Where did the pissed off cat go? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Had to drop him. He's all pissy now. We gotta find that first uh, shine shard. It's probably closer to the beginning of the level, though. Just wait for Bowser to do his thing. I knew it. Damn it, he was right behind me, wasn't he? I was telling my buddy, I'm like, you know, you're gonna need all the power ups you get because he literally. He flips directions, that blast is gonna hit you at some point. You need the, um, the power-ups when, like, having, like, that many. I feel like if you were avoiding him like I am entirely, I feel like you'd lose a lot more power-ups, but I'm kind of... It's not hard to avoid him. It's just you forget he's kind of doing what he's doing or what direction he's in. You done? He's done.
He's digging. All right, pissy cat. What a... This isn't going to be too bad, I don't think. It is nice that uh, he's right here, technically, though. I wanted to run, and I couldn't do that without putting him down. Kitties! <laughs> Lost kittens in the wasteland. We'll, uh... We'll use that one, I think. Oh, that's cool, too. So I was using the um, the logo before, and it was like, um, I just used Bowser's Fury, then I found the logo for 3 World. I didn't know you could do both at the same time, but that's pretty cool that you can. Um, I want to use that one. That'll be the thumbnail. I like it. It's cute. Meh. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, still got a few more this way. Still got one more this way. I'm assuming the lo like last one over here is going to be like, get to the end as soon as possible. So pretty much our theory of it being 70 is debunked now because we have 71. Wasn't paying attention before. Oh, it's a cat key. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Doop, 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 doop. My buddy's dead set on doing Champion Road this time. I'm going to try. I will try. It's going to be frustrating as hell. And I, I'd like I said, I'm going to be playing that on stream. So it's going to be not super easy to do. But I would like to try to do it. How am I going to do this? Because <laughs> now I have to bring the key all the way back. Without, um... I can't, I don't think I can go in the pipes. Oh, I did pick up the um, all the Kingdom Hearts games on Epic Store, and it, it was not cheap because they're all full price, and I don't agree with that at all. But the point of it is, is that I wanted to get them because, um, basically, they'll be easier to stream on PC than if I was to hook up my PS4. I could do that, but it would just be better to do this way. No, I can't go in the pipe. I thought I could, but... Um, it's just going to be easier to do that on PC if I just do it that way. So, what we'll end up doing is this, when I go to stream the Kingdom Hearts games, I'll just use my PC. And like I said, not cheap. Actually kind of stupid how expensive it is, because they're mostly full price. But like I said, I didn't buy much with my- Get it! No, 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 no! Mm, why does it disappear? Um, something that- I wanted to do anyway, just because I don't want to really use my consoles that much anymore. I kind of want to stick more to my PC. Because A, it's easier to stream, and just I don't plan on getting the new console, so um, it would just be easier to do things on my PC. Nothing wrong with the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. I just think for me, it's going to be easier to just use the PC for stuff. And I don't have to spend an extra, like, $500 for a bunch of games that I already pretty much own. I'm going to stand in front of this pipe. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Literally the best dodge I've ever done in this game. He loves to show up at the best friggin' time and cause all sorts of hell for me. Oh, there's jumpies there. I didn't see that. Oh, get out of here. He's so friggin'... Dude, we're right there. That was epic. Yes. <laughs> Give me this. Sweet deal. I'm using my phone now to check if I'm, like, still live because of what happened last time with just the end of the stream kicking out. So that way, I know if something's awry. Alright, so we're done here. We have this part. Um, Blast Fury Blocks, which we've done. We have another one that we haven't done. We have something over here that it looks like I have another one, but don't. And then we have, um... Like I said, we don't have that much left to do, I don't think. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. All right, so where are we going now? Oh, mag meow. And then it looks like that's going to be close to it, I think. 75, maybe? I don't know. I still think it's kind of crazy how many um, shines there actually is in just this one area, pretty much. This one massive level. I really like what they did here, and I really hope that they do more. Um, like I said, it's been a good time. Top Mount Magmeow. So, I'm assuming up at the top? <laughs> like, way up there? What is going on? What are you? Is that a cat wiggler? Are you kidding me? I love it. <laughs> it is. It's a cat wiggler. I love traditional Mario enemies. Um, there were some cool enemies in Odyssey, but like seeing the traditional enemies is awesome and seeing them as cats is even funnier. Uh, I see flip switches. What is it, Super Mario World? Oh wait. That's another thing that 3D World reminds me of is like, it's Super Mario 3D World. So my favorite game is, uh, well not my favorite game, but my favorite Mario game uh, is mostly Super Mario 3D World. I mean, not 3D World. Regular World. Um, grew up a lot playing that game, so definitely enjoy Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo quite a bit. So, the fact that it's a world title kind of means something to me, too. I don't know, I really like 3D World. I feel like it's a shame that it got overshadowed in the time of the Wii U, just because not a lot of people bought Wii U. Great Mario game, though. And we'll be moving on to that one afterwards, but... Look at the Wiggler! It's amazing! He's acting like the, um, the buzz saws from the regular world game, too. I love pussies down there, like, What's going on up there? Uh, everything okay? We got one more. We still got. We still got one more. Um, shine shard to find too. So I'm assuming it's the shine shard and just what we're doing right now. No, because there will be the fifth. There would be a fifth one too. How much you want to bet it gives me another like? Oh, you have to find the key cage or whatever. That's cool. They're right on one of the ears. Sweet. But yeah, like I said, I did find a monitor I like. I just gotta wait a little bit longer to uh, potentially get it. But it's 24 inch. It's um, 1080p. It's an LED Vizio, and it's just um, it has two HDMI ports, which I need. For my setup. Oh boy! I can't wait for the coin madness. Is that it? Or is it? <laughs> I do like coins. Still, don't really serve a purpose in this game. Um, I do like how every 100 po coins you get a power-up, because there's no extra lives, so it's kind of just like, oh, you get a power-up, you know? Gazing down at lava, that was, I don't know if that was just really lucky that that showed up, or if it just showed up because I was on the other ear, but, uh, either way. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. And we got rid of him immediately, which is, you know, ideal. What's over here? Oh, it's taking me, like, all the way around. What is that in the distance? I can't even tell. It looks like just a cat bell. Mm.
I honestly want that last uh, shine shard, so we gotta find that. Do the switchboards. Didn't we do that? <laughs> What's going on down here? Shine shard? I friggin' thought so. Sneaky bastard. <clears throat> All right, we got one more here. <clears throat> and I'm assuming it's the switchboard, like I said, the switchboard one. That for some reason I didn't do. Oh, it's because we were doing the getting to the top of the mountain, not the switchboard one. We just had to use the switchboards to get there. Ah, oh, you, I see you freaking button. Are you timed? No, yeah, probably. Oh, let's do this. You know what I'm gonna do? Something dirty. <laughs> Using this. I see a bunny. He's got a shine, too. Seriously, how many are there? <laughs> I'm blown away how many there are in just this one area. Alright, so I see the bunny. This has got to be 80. Uh, like, I can't... That jump is so broken! Alright. We've pretty much done everything in the area. I need to know how many cat shines there are. I'm going to look it up because I... I want to get all the shines. I'm not going to look up how to do them. I just want to know how many there are. There's a hundred? There's a hundred cat shines? Where the hell are the other, like, 20? <clears throat> How many times do we have to beat him? That's what I'm curious about. Is it going to open more? Is there an area right here we don't know about? Is that... I'm curious, because... There's a lot of, like... Okay, I, I see... You kind of see things shining in the distance that aren't, like, the towers. And that kind of gives you an idea. But it looks like, to me... That's a pile of coins. See, I don't know what happens after we... I kind of wanted to get the shines before we fought him again. Like, all of them. But it looks like at this rate... It's gonna be just... We have to fight him again. Because I can't think of... Is There's gotta be more area that we just haven't seen yet. Because <clears throat> I literally don't see any other... Like, shines kicking around. Really. Alright, at this point I'm just waiting for him to show up. Cause then I'll uh I'll fight him again. Screw it. I wanna like see I didn't know there was a hundred. Holy crap, I originally only thought there was fifty. And I'm just so surprised it's a hundred. <laughs> it's fine, I'll get them all, but like holy crap. Dude. 
I'm impressed. All right, let's 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 beat his ass again. See what happens. All right, Bowser. Let's beat your ass again. He's doing it like a couple times now. Boulders and crap now, too. Eat it. <laughs> yeah, even if this is the last fight with him, I'm still gonna want to, um... Get the rest. That's gonna happen. That was awesome! I didn't think that was gonna work! Because I don't know what's in the center there. I feel like there's something there, too. I love how that's literally like the Godzilla atomic breath. <laughs> Alright. Now what, Bowser? Ah. <clears throat> it's regular Bowser. <laughs> He's still massive. <laughs> Oh, he's taking all the Gigabells. He's gonna become Big Meowser again, probably. That's cool, though. Is, is there more area gonna open up? No? Okay. Oh, dude, he can still do that? <laughs> Hit him with it. <laughs> this is awesome. Like I said, I still want to get the rest of the stuff, uh, the rest of the stars, but... I don't know where they are. I already got like pretty much everything that I could find. I don't know if there's some secret ones kicking around that I don't know about. If so, that means there's like 20 secret ones kicking around. Did they, I was gonna say, did that just go away? He's hard to catch up to, holy crap. I missed it! Are you kidding me? Well, I'm getting a lot of coins, that's for sure.
He's kind of a pain in the ass to catch, huh? Holy crap. There's like one jump where you can pretty much catch him. It's like this one. I didn't think so. I didn't think he was going to let me. I need to, um... Freaking unavailable calls, I'm telling you. Leave me alone. Come on. You really need those power-ups. He's uh, quite a pain in the ass. Eat it! I'm really wondering where the rest of those shines are! <laughs> it was awesome. Alright, so Big Bowser's toast. Hoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohooh
Can you get those beforehand, or do you have to beat the game and then find them? Either way, it's fine. You're helping me a lot, so I'll make it easy on you. If you want to visit a different island, just point to it on the map and press A, and I'll warp us right there. That's cool. Um, here's a graffiti. What are you doing here? Does she want me to find the toads? I do see cat shines, too. Or shine shards. One up there. So yeah, like I said, I want to get the rest. Like, I don't think I'll be able to 100% um, the normal 3D world, so I would like I would like to try and do this one because it looks like it's a little bit easier to do. Um, like I said, you have to beat the game with every single character in in 3D world, but I will do as much as I can in that game for sure. I would at least like to get all the courses completed, like uh, Champions Road and whatnot. Although I do hear and have seen it's quite infuriating, <laughs> but. We get the rest of these. Get out of here. You just stomped his ass. There's one. Get over here, you. You gotta be kidding me. You land on my friggin' head. Well, too bad that we're, you know... It seems like we're in short supply of cat bells, but not really. So we're still missing... Two. He's still in the middle, too. Kind of cool. So I don't know. Maybe you do have to beat the game before you uh, get them all. I don't know. Weird. Where are those shine shards? This is the one I got, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What does she want? Tell me. Just tell me. Stop looking at me like I know. I don't. <laughs> I'm looking for, like, little areas where there might be something. Um, I knew there was going to be more here. I just don't think you can access it till afterwards. Now I'm just checking each side of the ship. What's down below here? Oh, there's one. And we need one more. It might honestly be that one where, uh... Those blocks get blasted. That might be its own shine, too. What's going on with that over there? <clears throat> oh, 
He's a cat now. It's amazing. What's going on here? Plessy coins? How am I supposed to get up there? No way I could get up there. I know that super jump, but how do I how do I pull that off? Oh, okay. It's right right before. I gotta get used to doing that. There it is. Too bad. Please tell me that's the only one of those. <laughs> no, it's probably not, though. Unfortunately. I bet you there's a few more of those kicking around. Of course there is. There's one right there. You piece. It might not be as bad, though. Give me! Let's see Metal Catcher. 80. Lucky Isle. What the heck does Lucky Isle mean? Why don't I like it? Is that like in the sky? I don't even know if I'm going the right way with this. Probably not. Is it that over there? Looks like it might be. The question is... Well, I could probably use the, um... What I'm thinking... Is using the fling thingy? To get over there? That's all I can really think of. Like the, on top of the lighthouse? Oh, what's that up there? Looks like there's some stuff going on. I could probably use that right there. That weird ass glass cannon thing. <laughs> Damn it, that doesn't. <sighs> I have to go back here now! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, so. Let's take the skate. 
It's a little faster. I can use both? <laughs> That's what, that looks so strange. Get out of there. What I'm curious about right now is using this. And I get up there with this. No, I can't. Why would I? Where does this cannon go? Probably not to where I want. Maybe it will. Looks like it might. Yep, it does. Yeah, but this, I've already been up here. Because I remember these blocks appearing. These uh, cloud blocks. So yeah, what's the point now? I've already gotten this. So what's Lucky Island over there? Is that like a, um, like Lapcat? Some of these are going to be a little bit harder to find, I think. Lucky Island, huh? We'll figure it out. Where are you? Thank you. You are wonderful for showing up when I need you. <clears throat> I've already been over here, too. Like, this is not... This is just a power-up. Lucky Isle. I'm just looking for anything out of, like, the ordinary. Anything at all. That button has already been used. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Like, I don't see anything up here, either, that would signify... What about down here? You... You, Toad. I see you. What are you thinking? Okay, that's probably... Okay, Toad Brigade stuck under the slope. Um, Lucky Isle still confused on that one, but I need to actually... Probably go back to uh, the main island. He's back. <laughs> oh, shit. What is going on there? What is that? There's like an island with five of them on it. Let's not worry about it for now. Lucky Isle. They keep saying Lucky Isle on some of these, and I'm just like, okay. I'll have to figure that out. I'm not sure why it's saying that, but... Um, I know... There's... We have to go back here real quick. Oh, there's a shadow, Luigi. But right now, I don't really care about him. I care about, uh, this getting hit.
There's one. Wait, still don't know where that last uh, shard is. We'll have to find it. But I did want to get that one out of the way. It seems like every time I find Fury Blocks, I'm like, well, I gotta bring him over here. <laughs> Alright, let's get him out of here, too. You bastard! You know, I thought about it. There might be... There is! <laughs> you sneaky... Sneaky snake! Sweet. So the last one should be the Luigi one. Yeah, this isn't going to be too bad, getting the last couple, but, um, like I said, I do want to do it. I'm trying to get better at Mario games, so, like, um, because I do enjoy them quite a bit. So I may try and go for 100% in 3D World. We'll try, but I, I don't... It's going to take forever. Um, just because you have to play as every single character through every single stage, and I don't want to stream this game for that long, potentially. We'll, 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 we'll look at it when we get there. Fury Shadow on deck. Alright, so the main area is done now. The first area. So now we got these weird stars we gotta find. Or these weird, um... Cat shines. You call them stars. You did, You get so used to calling something one thing that you're just like, uh, yeah. That's what it always is gonna be. Cloud cannon. That makes a lot more sense than it would've, um, years ago. Give me that. Do I have to just get rid of all the enemies? Is that a thing? I'm assuming. Well, let's try that again. Seems like what it wants me to do. Boink. I fell. I thought that was gonna kill me. In old Mario, it, it I don't think it would kill you, but <laughs> some stages it would, I believe. All right, no more messing around. Deal. Bounce and trance in the clouds. That one's done. So yeah, either I had to look harder, or like I actually had to wait till the game was done. Because I don't remember... I never went back to the first island anyway. But I don't remember those... The toads being there at all. What's over here? There's one over here. I think... No, it's back a little bit. You slide your tummy across that beach. Here it is, right here. 
<laughs> Help! Damn it. Here we go. Captain Toad himself. I gotta play through that game. I, I have that on the Switch as well, and I have not played it. Um, I played a little bit of it on Wii U, but, you know, same story. <laughs> well, I prefer having things on Switch. Um, I'm not gonna use my last cat bell for now. Actually, no, I'll use this one. Okay. These two, and then there's this one. There's one up here. I'm assuming Lucky Isle, um, is gonna be, like, a bonus stage. Which I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to find them every time. I just don't know where this one's going to be. Actually, no, it's probably right here. <clears throat> you wanna... You wanna? There we go. Nah, I thought there would be something there. And I was wrong. Okay. I see something going on right there. What's what's that about? Why are there just five here? Or am I going to get one and it's going to disappear real quick? Oh, you get one and then... That's cool! Holy crap! Okay, so that island's going to appear at random places or pretty much every area where there's a lucky shine. And every time you get one, he goes away. Then the island's gonna go away, and then you have to get you have to get basically do it five times. That's kind of cool though. Um, Lake Lab Cat. That's gonna be a lucky isle over there. That's a cool idea. I think my mouse just showed up. I'm going to run into the hallway quick, and I'm going to grab the mail. I think it just got delivered. Yeah, it was delivered. Guys, I'll be right back. I just want to bring it in the apartment. I'm pumped to get this bad boy. So, this is the Rad 8 Plus, and it's obviously, like I said, it's going to be my new gaming mouse. But holy crap. Made by Mad Cats, which is funny because, uh. <laughs> I'm 34. Uh, no, 34? I'm at 33. 34, I believe. Yeah, I'm 34. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes you forget. <laughs> and, um. Honestly, Mad Cats was a company that made really crappy controllers back in the day, and they make gaming mice now. And actually, they're really, really good. Um, like I said, my buddy's had one for quite a few years, and uh, I guess it's pretty sweet. So I will definitely be uh, hooking that up afterwards. Why can't I go to this one? 
Uh, oh, it's gonna be majors, not minors. Okay. Um. There's nothing really up here. There's like, that's gonna be a lucky aisle. There's some just kind of kicking around. Like Lake Lapcat stuff. And then there's like, um. There seems to. Oh, it's a Plessy coin. We can do that. As long as it's not awful. No, 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 get it. But yeah, um, they make really good gaming mouse, which is kind of awesome. Get up there. I'm not going to get it. Nope, not going to get it. I'm going to go back. Where are you? There it is. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped to hook that up. Um, I'm going to be trying the Outriders demo with that mouse. And the only reason I got a new one was because um, I have a Corsair mouse, but the right click is stopping its function. So it is necessary for most first-person shooter games. Get up there, you. Give me. Give me. I don't know if that thing it stays there, if it disappears like the coins, but I don't want to chance it, so. <laughs> Plus the Metal Mania. Sorry I've had to get up twice during stream, though, but I, d I don't like leaving mail out in the hallway. Um, especially when it's something I spent money on, like, decent amount of money. I'd rather not leave it out there. Like, if I ordered a monitor, I, I wouldn't, like, want to leave it out there. Uh, I see a toad. He's kind of in a tough spot. Look at him. <laughs> I love when it showed up and butt stomped in his face and he's like, here's a star or here's a shine. I don't think there's any more fury blocks to blow um, with Bowser. I don't think so. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think there's any more. I think that beginning area was the last one. That's done. The Lucky Isle. We gotta go right here. Where is it, though? I need this guy right here. Stop! Get it. Thank you. Oh, come on. Lucky Isle's probably, like, all the way up there. And the problem... I can see the reflection of it, like, up. But the problem is, is that he's chasing me right now. Um... I need to be up there and then have him show up. If that's... Hopefully that's possible, because... Right now, it's just a huge pain in the ass to even get up there while he's doing this crap. Because you're slipping and you're sliding and you're bunch of bullshit. He's got his beams coming at you. Come on. Move it. I went from, like, completely fine to angry in, like, two seconds. And it's because the game's also kind of slowing down with everything that's happening. Stupid snowman. Get away from me. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get up there. See it? It's over there. Come on! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Get over there!
Give me that. Holy crap, that was terrible. <laughs> I thought it was up at the higher one. Luckily, it's only at the little one. Screw you, Bowser. Like, he stayed around for quite a bit, though. I wonder if he would just stay around until I got it. Which is weird. <laughs> I noticed the sky is way more threatening than it was before, I think. Unless that was always red, but... Still. Alright, Lake Lap Cat. We got three more of those lucky, uh, lucky cat stars. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Funny! You mean a piece of shit? Yeah, probably. You want to maybe not? Look at him, he's such a piece of shit. What just happened? Are you kidding me? Give me that, you stupid bunny! <laughs> like rabbit place tag. He's a piece of shit! <laughs> oh. Alright, that's the lucky island. Another one. Over here. I see there's a, uh, one right here. I need more, uh, bell power-ups. I don't know where those all went. There's still plenty of propeller boxes, though. Holy crap. I'm not complaining, not really. I want to make sure I'm facing the right way for wherever this is. Oh, uh, it's a Plessy Medallion. <clears throat> Interesting idea. They're like, because these didn't appear beforehand, so this must be, like I said, you have to beat the game once before you get everything. No, get off! Get off! Get off! Holy crap. Give it. Give it! Give it! <clears throat> Thanks for liking, I really appreciate it. Oh! Give me that. I like how that stuff bounces me away, doesn't hurt me directly when I'm on Plessy. That's kind of good. Yeah, thanks for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like what I do here and you like my commentary, feel free to follow me on Facebook. I stream about two to three times a week. Uh, current day and retro stuff as well. So all sorts of stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, support means the world to me. It really does. So thank you. Um, going this way, Lake Lab Cat. So it's gonna be, I don't know, around the back, potentially. Where's Plessy? I'm gonna go around the back. I don't know if there's gonna be more medallions or not, but I'm assuming there's quite a few more Plessy medallion things. Or there could be nothing at all. <laughs> I didn't see anything. What the hell? Is it, uh... Is it just, like, up... It might be up there more. Weird. Okay. I just wanted to check, you know. The best thing about, like... Well, the crazy thing about Mario is that you always have to check, like, everywhere. Just because you never know where things are going to be hidden. Ugh, I don't want to go all the way up there, though. But I don't see anything that's immediately standing out to me. I 
and I have a um something. I don't I have plenty of power ups, I just don't want to use my last cat bell. Get out of here, hammer bro or fire bro, whatever you wanna be. Oh my. Yeah, I've gone in here before. It was just a uh, cat shine. Of course, he'd show up again right now. <laughs> Trying to see what these lucky islands are. There's one over there. How the heck am I supposed to get to that one? Uh, we're gonna go for it. I'm already doing this, but these only appear when he's here, so. Oh, good grief, he's already. <sighs> Come on, dude. Like, seriously? I don't even know what I got hit by. Maybe he's learned how to aim. Get out of here! I see what's going on here. It's over there! But do I need Plessy to get there? That's the question. Might not. Come on, Mario, run. Dude, you kidding me? Dude, he was here for two seconds! That's cool. There's a, there's a bunch of rings down there. Uh, that sucks. Did it want me to, like, somehow do the Plessy thing? Is that why he disappeared in, like, two seconds? <laughs> that wasn't even like he ran away. He just was like, he's gone. All right, let's go back to this one. <laughs> After that bullshit. Ugh. I mean, it's not a big deal. I could still get it with Plessy. I just was like, what the hell? I thought I'd be able to get it in multiple ways instead of them just being like, nope, not this time. You've already broken the game far too many times. All right. I hear stuff jingling. Not sure what that is, but... Probably question mark blocks that I can't see. <clears throat> and my buddy was like, oh, I want to, uh... He's like, I'm going through 3D World now. I'm like, yeah, I want to go through the Bowser's Fury stuff first, just because it is the new content. I have played 3D World before. Um, I am excited to go through it again, don't get me wrong. But I feel like... Playing the new stuff was at the top of my list. And I'm glad I did it, honestly. Especially when we're going to go through the other game afterwards, you know? Alright, come on, dude. Like, seriously? Oh my god, he followed me this whole way? Let's do a Tanuki Leaf. What is going on down here? Is that a, that's a toad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <clears throat> Saved. Sweet. Ninety-three, almost there. Lake Lap Cat. Lake Lap Cat. Lake Lap Cat. So there's a couple Lucky Isle ones. <clears throat> Three, I think, if I remember correctly. And a couple more just kicking around. So we're going to take Plessy over here now. 
convenient. What's up, Plessy? Boink. I'm I'm pumped for that mouse. I'm telling you, that rat uh, computer mouse. I'm so pumped. <clears throat> Cause if what my buddy's telling me is true, like they last for like a stupidly long time, and it wasn't it wasn't that expensive. It was like eighty five bucks, which might be more than like people want to spend on a computer mouse. But seeing as I use mine so much, I literally was like, eh. <laughs> um, I've bought. I haven't bought, like, a mouse that expensive in a long time, so... Even the Corsair I have, the K65 or whatever, or, um, M65, was, like, 45 bucks, so... Last time I... Sp I don't think I've ever spent that much on a mouse. I think the last mouse I bought was... I used to be very, very, uh, loyal to the Razer Death Adder, and I really love that mouse, too. But, um... Go oh, turn around, turn around, turn around. And, um... But I was looking for something new, and this is kind of that where that evolved and the idea evolved into that. So hopefully, going forward, it is a nice a nice choice because it's got like a pinky rest. It's got weights, um, and my current mouse has weights in it. But these are like you can remove them, and um, I'll probably just keep all the weights in honestly because I like a weighty mouse. But it's got like a pinky rest. It's got all sorts of crazy stuff. So, it's going to be good. I'm, like, concentrating. <laughs> that was awesome. It's so satisfying when you pull something off like that when it and it's like flawless. It's so good. There's no feeling like it. Wee! Did I get another star? Was that a cat bell chasing me? That sucks. I didn't get it. If that's the case. All right. So this guy, this guy. We'll get those two next. <clears throat> And we're gonna ride Plessy over there just because it looks like that w that's what we have to do anyway. Where you at? There you go. I f <laughs> Smooth. Um. I think this is it, but I don't. Oh, okay. Alright. That's cool. It's like a random little section. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could I could use... <laughs> you could go the other way, I guess, but why wouldn't you just use the cat? Alright. Next. Uh, that's Lucky Island. And there's the Lake Lab Cat over there. Oh, okay. I, I know what it wants me to do. Not that. <laughs> it wants me to do the super jump over this stuff. That was how you got over there before. Okay, so... Oh my god. <laughs> Plessy, I'm sorry! <laughs> Brandon, what's going on, man? I didn't know I could run across the water. That was cool! Get me out of here! I want this. Oh, shining on a hidden island. Oh, look, it's Bowser. He's immediately upset. Let's try and get this lucky island one this time. The other one didn't go so well. Of course. There it is. That's so cool. That's, like, such a cool idea, though, is that, like, after you beat him, more stuff unlocks, and then you have to kind of, um... Uh, this island only appears while he's around. 
so you can get those five shines, but once you get one, it goes away because he goes away. So you have to wait till the next two times he shows up to get the other two or the other three or four or five or whatever. That's so cool. We're almost there, though. We're almost to 100. Um, I'm glad I looked it up because <laughs> even though I had to beat the game once to unlock some of the other ones, it seems uh, still pretty cool, and I definitely want to get all of them. So I've had a really good time with this uh, game mode. Uh, get out of here, you, you cat piranha plant. Brandon, I saw you were streaming yesterday. How did the Mortal Kombat go? You were playing ranked, weren't you? Or were you playing uh, just like versus people? Uh, like, regardless, that's pretty cool. I never considered myself that good. <laughs> so... <laughs> I enjoy the games, though. I really do love Mortal Kombat. I love what they're going to do with that. Um, that new movie's going to be awesome. I love how brutal it looks. Nice, dude. I'll have to go back and watch the VOD because I you were already done streaming by the time I realized you were on. I gotta sign up for notifications. I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, so we got Lake Labcat. Where the heck is it though? Is it right there? I guess so. Um That sucked. Do not get hit again. I'm gonna need a cat bell. I'll use a special one. Oh nice, he'll be streaming again on Saturday? Sounds good, man. My mouse my new gaming mouse showed up. I'm I'm pumped. Um I haven't hooked it up yet. But I bought the um my friend's been using the the rat gaming mouse for a long time so it's the um i got the rat 8 plus it's like fully adjustable it's got weights in it that are removable it's um it's a really nice friggin' mouse i spent like 85 bucks on it it's probably the most expensive mouse i've ever bought but uh hope he's had it for like five years so i'm like yeah i like the idea of having it for a long time hopefully uh i'm gonna be trying the outriders demo in a little bit uh, that just went live at noon, so... I was gonna stream it, but I didn't know what Square Enix's ideas were of streaming a demo. I didn't want to take a chance and then having them be all pissy, so... Um... I'm gonna end up just playing the demo, and then when the game comes out on in April, I'm gonna do that. It looks like Anthem got cancelled, which... I had my suspicions, but... I can't say I'm not a little disappointed. Just because I was hoping for a reboot, but Outriders looks sweet, especially because it's a fully, uh, it's a full package. So you get all the endgame stuff and everything right away. You don't have to wait for, like, DLC and whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it sucks. I, I was hoping for something like an Anthem 2.0, but it apparently they don't deem it worth it, so. But Outriders looks sweet. I can't wait to play that. Yeah, dude, get Destiny. I'll play with you, man. Always. I'm always on Destiny. You might... To play with me, though, you would probably have to get the expansion. It was on sale, like, two weeks ago. But you can download the base game and, you know, play that way. Um, I'm always down to play Destiny, man. I, I don't have anybody to play with because my buddy doesn't really play it anymore. So, anytime. Yeah, Outriders looks sick. I can't wait for that because it's going to be... Uh, my chance to do more looter shooter stuff. This is just a lucky aisle. Okay, so I have to wait till he shows up again. And I think the other one is just a lucky aisle, too. It is. So those are the last two, aren't they? Yeah, dude, nice. Sweet deal. Um, the cool thing is, is if you get the expansion, you can get the seasons with it. Um, and I think when you get the expansion, it unlocks seasons for the next, like, couple seasons. So... It's actually worth it because a season is like ten bucks, like Apex. But um, if you buy the expansion, and I think I think it was expansion plus seasons, you get like the next four seasons of the whole year, um, for the price of for way less money than you'd normally spend. 
So definitely check that out. Yeah, our riders look sweet. I'm going to try the demo today. Um, I love how much you can build your characters. It's basically like a first-person shooter, or like, a, no, a third-person shooter, but literally you can build your characters like Diablo-esque. So there's like massive skill trees. Um, you can upgrade your loot, which is cool. Um, Destiny, when you get the loot, it's pretty much like, oh, you got the loot. That's it. But in Outriders, you can literally upgrade the loot you get and, like, change perks on it. I saw some dude who had, like, some piece of gear and he has, like, a turret normally. But based on the piece of gear, he could, like, deploy a frozen turret and, like, all sorts of cool shit. I didn't buy Outriders for myself. My buddy got it for my birthday. But, um... Yeah, I'm just waiting for Bowser at this point. <laughs> Luckily, Destiny 2 is a lot smaller than uh, it was. They cut out some locations, because just based on story stuff. So they actually... Uh, they cut like 60 gigabytes off the game. It was over 100. Come on, Bowser. Come on. Get your friggin' butt over here. I need that lucky island. He's coming soon, I think. He starts to spin faster, then it starts to rain, and then he shows up. I only need two more, uh, shines. There we go. Now we're cooking. Where's that lucky island gonna be? Hopefully, uh, near me. Oh, spikes! The transition of him showing up, I love how quick it is. It's crazy how quick he's just here. And time to find that island. Where the heck is it? Is it above me? It's not above me. No! There it is! I need to get in this cannon immediately. There it is! Alright, one more. But I can't get it now. I have to wait till it shows up again. Um, Beyond Light. So Beyond Light, it'll give you the option for Beyond Light and then plus Seasons. But yeah, dude. I mean, now that I've actually been seeing you on Steam quite a bit more often, so I'm like, you're, I'm sure you see me playing, so it's like, <laughs> oh, anytime you feel like playing, you can just jump on in. And I'll get you up on Discord and all that stuff. Have you played Destiny before? I don't know if it's plus one season or if it's plus or if it's all seasons. When I bought the expansion, I got all seasons, so I don't know. Um, there's quite a bit to do in the game. Luckily, they start you off at a pretty decent power level now. I can always grind you through some stuff. Um, pretty much, it's it's a season based game now, so you, you leveling is a little different. But I'm interested to see how it goes for a new player, just because. Um. I don't know what to expect, but we can always run through some stuff and, you know, get get used to stuff. It's plus one season. It's one season and the deluxe edition. Does the deluxe edition include all the seasons? It's weird because, like I said, when I just bought the expansion, I got all of them. So I don't know. I'd have to, You'd have to look into it a little bit more, I think. But the, um, <laughs> it, it sucks that you're deciding now because I was telling my buddy he still has to get the expansion too. And, uh, it was on sale for like 26 bucks the other day for like a whole week. And he, uh, he didn't take advantage of that, which is unfortunate, but is what it is. 
All right, we need one more thingy. But the last time I was over here, he uh, didn't like that I was on that wall trying to take the propeller box over. So it looks like he wants me to take Plessy, and it's going to make me do a jump off of a ramp onto the uh, area, per se. Which kind of sucks, but I'm going to have to wait for Bowser again. But it's going to take me, like, this is going to take me over a jump, like, right over here. And it's going to take me, uh, like, that last one, and then I'll get it. Uh, it's a pain to wait for him, but literally that's all I can do right now. Oh, he's here. That was quick. Oh, because he's like, oh, you're waiting for me? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, once you get 100, it's not a huge reward. That is all the cat shines. But the cool part is, is his hair will turn white. Oh my god, he's right there! Give me this. <laughs> so we'll we'll uh, obviously beat him again. So he'll t when next time he comes back, his hair will turn white. We'll fight him, and then that'll be it for uh, Bowser's Yuri. And then we'll get started on 3D World. You've collected all of the cat shines. Message is ringing out from the Giga Bell. You are ready. Go cleanse the beast of its fury with the full power of the cat shines. Oh, he's just coming back immediately. That's awesome. But I'm gonna need Plessy to go uh, get me to a Giga Bell here. Actually, no. Do this. Um. They didn't put like a portal like right next to one, so I have to like go to here. <laughs> oh my god! I just realized something. That tune that's playing is the intro to the same. When Bowser shows up in Super Mario World. Oh my god! I didn't notice that before. He's... Oh, he looks awesome. I'm taking a screenshot of that. <laughs> Look at all those coins I don't need. Get that bell. Beat his ass for good. Where's that bell, anyway? There it is. Oh, god damn! Yeah, he's gonna hit me. Give me that bell! I will- I do notice that the game has a little bit of a slowdown issue sometimes, and it is because there's so much crap going on. Alright, Bowser. It's time. It's time to finish this. We already did it once, but let's do it again. Oh, he's got a longer health bar! Dude, he's harder now. Holy crap, is this the real fight? That's not good. So basically getting a hundred unlocks the real fight. That's amazing. Give me this. He's so mad. He falls sooner too. Oh! Dude. That's so cool. Uh, you would think that it would be like having all 100 would make him weaker. Not so. I don't think so, pal. It's not doing a lot of damage either. Like, I love this. I don't think it's going to reach him. Nope. This is awesome. He looks so cool with the white hair, too. I think this might be the best Bowser.
Come here, dude. Boink. <laughs> the beat down. <laughs> I love it. Damn it. I knew I was going to get hit. Get up there, Mario. Oh, I can do a butt slam. He might get up first, though. I need another bell, but I've, I already got two, and I mistakenly got another one. So I gotta find the other one. Where are the other Giga Bells? Did I get them all? There's no way. There's no way I got them all. I only got, like, what was it? Is there only three? Then maybe I did. Well, we can still try and beat him this way. Come here, you. Now I'm just big old Mario. <laughs> Godzilla Bowser. He looks wicked cool now that I've got the... He's got like the... He's got white hair and like white spikes, which... A little bit different. No! Oh, that was close. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I don't know what happens if you're big and then you, like... Like this without the cat power up and if you get hit again. I don't know if you go back to small and then have to redo the fight, so I don't want to really find out. Eat it! <laughs> that was so awesome. So worth getting all the shines. It's over, Bowsy, this time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bowser Jr. Oh yeah, we f I forgot. Regular big Bowser fight afterwards. I wonder if he's going to be harder too. No Giga Bells for you. Oh my lord! <laughs> I do know there's only one... We already did this once before, but... I don't know if it's going to be harder. Because of the hundred. I do have plenty of power-ups, so I'm not worried about that. There is only one jump you can hit him on and it's that one then you gotta go all the way around pretty much and do it two more times I believe oh my god
This gets pretty insane, though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Um... I mean, whatever, we'll do a... I don't even care what we get, as long as I can take two hits. Of course, Cat... Cat Mario is best Mario, so we always will have Cat Mario. <laughs> Fireflower works, though, for the moment. Damn it. Luckily, every time you get 100 coins, you get a um, power-up. I don't know why that didn't... Okay. Damn it! He is a little bit harder from my perspective right now, though, just because he's a little bit faster than he was before. You're supposed to get him when he roars. But getting there in time is kind of a little bit harder. Dodging that is almost impossible. Dude, come on. There we go. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. You friggin'. See, you really need all those power-ups that you get. Like, yeah, you get a lot, but holy crap. Having that inventory is good. <laughs> I really hope that they keep that as a Mario staple, is that inventory. Um, usually you're only, only able to have, like, one power-up. But when you're trying to dodge stuff like this, it's like... It's hard to explain how Plessy works, but when you're underwater, you can only stay under for a certain amount of time. Damn it, I missed it. Eat it. Having the power-ups, though, is super useful. And it's, they're not pointless either, so it's like, the only thing I would say, coins are still kind of relatively pointless in this, but, um, every hundred you get a power-up, so it's like, there's no extra lives, but at least there's some sort of reward for getting coins. Yeah, we already got Cat Plessy, but that's okay. This ending was amazing the first time. We need to watch it again only on the harder, uh, Bowser. <laughs> I can't. It's too much. Cat Plessy. So yeah, this is a pretty, like, for the... Some people would argue that paying the $60 for this game would be a little bit much. Yeah, I can kind of agree in a sense, but... At the same time... You're not only getting 3D World, you're getting this as well. And I've spent at least another five hours playing this. So, I mean, if you... It's it's really up to you, but, like, as a Mario game, 3D World's one of my favorites. And, uh, like I said, we will be going through the, the whole of 3D World as well, but Bowser's Fury was definitely, honestly, worth it alone for me. For me, anyway. And I really hope Nintendo, uh, takes some, um, <laughs> Nintendo takes some, uh, ideas from this and puts it into further Mario games. Odyssey was great, but I do like the traditional power-up system over the capture ability. But Odyssey's still a great game as well. <laughs> it is <laughs> but yeah that's it that's it for Bowser's Fury 100, 100 cat shines and uh, beaten hard Bowser so that's pretty cool um, 
Like I said, we're going to move on to 3D World next. Still got about an hour and a half, so we can play some, uh, some more of that. Oh! <sighs> hope everyone's going, hope everyone's doing okay, hope everyone's enjoying the stream. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do come March. And it's more of me trying to pick something than me running out of stuff to play. <laughs> I did get my, like I said though, Brandon, I did get my taxes, so that was, that was the main reason for me getting the mouse. Yeah, the, the left and right mouse is, like I told you before, my mouse, my right click is starting to go, and it was a, um, it's a Corsair M M65, which is like a, it's a pretty decent mouse, I just wanted something that, you know, right click in first person shooters is like... <laughs> You need it. <laughs> so, because you can look down iron sights that way. Um, but since this is fully, this is fully adjustable, it's got um, a USB report rate of up to 20,000, uh, no, 2,000 hertz. I think this has 16,000 DPI, which is kind of stupid. Um, the best part about this mouse is it's made by Mad Cats, and they used to make like all the shitty controllers back in the day. But now they make, like, really freaking nice gaming mice. Um, I find that ironic, <laughs> really. But, nah, it should be cool. And, um, you can adjust, like, heights. You can put a pinky rest on it, which is really cool. Um, it's got individual profiles. It's got a precision aim button. Like I said, my buddy has one. And, um... Yeah, DPI range of up to 16,000. That's kind of stupid. Uh, the weight of the mouse is 145 grams without the cable. But yeah, we'll be hooking that up later. I'll be trying the Outriders demo with it. Um, like I said, just didn't want to stream the demo because I didn't know what their rules were on that. But um, yeah, I mean, we finished Bowser's Fury, so we're going to move on to 3D World, which honestly is great. It plays very differently than Bowser's Fury in a couple ways. Um, it's not open world, like, uh, you guys saw. It's more of just, like, going through the game, but... Uh, so the thing that sucks is you literally have to play through as all the characters to get 100% completion. I don't know if I'm gonna do 100% completion, but I am gonna do as much as I can just clearing the game. Um, I do like Luigi, so I'm gonna probably play through as Luigi. <clears throat> His jumps a little better, and I just—I've always liked Luigi more than Mario. Sue me, <laughs> fight me. No, no. <laughs> I just like Luigi. I've always liked Luigi. Um, Rosalina is a cool character too, and you'll unlock her as well. This game is great though, as well. It's not the same as Bowser's Fury, but it's still a great Mario game. It's actually more reminds me of like, classic Mario, just with a 3D aesthetic. Um, the levels are just kind of more three-dimensional than, like, if you're gonna play, like, new Super Mario Brothers. <clears throat> I feel like t this game, this game is, like, what Super Mario World did for Super Mario, uh, Brothers 3 on the NES. Kind of, like, evolved that idea. This is basically like that evolution from like new Super Mario Brothers to this. <clears throat> but with the Wii U version, they didn't have a couple things. Um, in this Switch version, they actually added online multiplayer, which is pretty sweet. Um, among other things, they enhanced the movement speed of Mario and like in crew to be a little bit faster. So that might actually help me in the later stages, but. This is a, like, stage aesthetic. So, like, you go to a stage and you actually do the stage. But there's nothing wrong with that. When this came out, though, on the Wii U, I went through, like, the whole thing. I didn't complete it 100%, but I really enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, you can just randomly walk around, too. But, okay, so each level is going to have three stars, sometimes five, I think. They're green stars, and you're actually going to have a stamp, too. 
Um, stamps was a thing back on the Wii U. You could actually like post to this thing called the Miiverse, which is like Nintendo's social media platform at the time. But stamps kind of just have a photo mode sort of. Um, you can still use the photo mode now, but um, a photo mode sort of reason now <laughs> instead of just being something like, you know, on posting on some sort of social media. You could do that now anyway, because you can connect your Switch to Facebook, but... So yeah, Luigi has like a fluttery jump. But yeah, this there's still similar stuff here as there would be in like, um... Bowser's Fury, but it plays more like with a fixed camera. You can change angles, but it's not like uh, Bowser's Fury where you can literally change 360 degree camera. You can carry one power up at a time instead of all of them. So yeah, I would say, and I said this to my buddy, Bowser's Fury is like what Mario would be if this game and Odyssey had a child. That's pretty much what it was. I don't know if the uh, fixed camera thing was something that Nintendo added for the Switch version, but I do know I appreciate it regardless. Having different camera angles is ideal in most games. Maybe I'll do some of the Kingdom Hearts games in March, too, because those are coming out um, for PC. So that would be late March, though, because those come out March 30th. I have those. I picked those up because that was the other thing I picked up on my tax turn, and I didn't like paying full price for those. But what can you do? I don't really plan on getting a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, so I'm kind of going to think stick with my PC. It's going to be easier to stream from anyway. Yeah, I think you just get them and then you keep them. Yeah, you just get them and you keep them. So there's one I'm missing. I just don't remember where it is. We might have to enter stages several times. What are you doing? There we go. Goal! Where's that other star? You tell me right now. There's the stamp. <clears throat> But unlike Bowser's Fury, you're timed, just like most Mario games. Um, most levels are timed anyway. So yeah, it, it kind of speaks to the old school Mario with like a new school sort of flair to it. I actually really like this game though. I just don't remember what I'm going to have to do to uh, get that those last two stars. Same sort of deal, though. You gotta go through the stages a couple times. There's the first stamp. 100% completion in this game requires getting all stamps, all stars, completing all levels on every single character. So it's, it's quite an undertaking, and I don't think I'm gonna do that on stream. I might I might do it over the years, but I do I am very very excited to play through this game again for sure. Um level 2 I think already has a free like a life an extra life exploit I can do. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I might try it. <clears throat> but this is multiplayer as well with like everybody on the same screen. You can do it that way. It's more fun just to just play it though. Give me this. I already have it, but don't care. Where are those other two stars? There's one. Cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Luigi. So obviously, the way you have to look at this is, as you're going through a stage, usually the stars are going to be kind of in order. Same with, like, um, other sort of Mario games, is, like, if you're looking for the last star, it's going to be near the last part of the level. Like, you already got the rabbit one. It's probably right here. No, just give me more time. 
Big mushroom. Yump. Yes, there we go. Boink. So yeah, that's all three. Sweet deal. Yeah, movement is definitely picked up in this. I can feel it. Um, the little changes they did on Wii U, though, from Wii U to Switch are welcome, for sure. There we go. Moving on. So once the level's completed, obviously there's like... I don't remember if that little uh, flagpole had the star on it before, but... Regardless. Next level. My friend's like, yeah, I'm already on, like, world, like, four or something like that. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I've been playing, uh, the other part of the content on stream because it's new. <laughs> and I was like, I do want to go through the old game, but, uh, I think I obviously want to go through the new stuff first. It just felt like it... I had to do it that way. Um. Isn't this... There's like a... Yeah, it's right here. There we go. <laughs> That's the exploit. Let's get some lives, shall we? <laughs> I'll sit here for like a minute or two. <laughs> you can literally go until like you have over 999 and it will uh it'll start turning to symbols i don't plan to die this many times but it is fun to get lives <laughs> uh, i forgot this was a thing until uh someone posted it the other day and i was like oh yeah i remember doing that Alright, we should be good for now. <clears throat> I don't need that many more. I'll come back and get the, like, symbols later, but... <laughs> and I die immediately! <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we have plenty of lives now. Oh, man. It seems like every um, 3D world, like, style of game has a life exploit. Um, and it's interesting because there's a game called 3D Land for um, the 3DS. Totally different game. Same sort of idea. It plays the similar, too. Um, 3D World's is way freaking better. And the levels are all different. But in 3D Land, there's also similar life exploits. Which are fun. <laughs> Like I said, I do love the... Uh, damn you. I do like the, um... The soundtrack, because it's literally... Koji Kondo took a step back for this game, and let, um... I forget what is... What's his name? But let him do the soundtrack instead, and it's got, like, a jazzier feel to it. Which is kind of nice. Then again, I can't be mad about this. I can't be mad at this game at all, because without this game, Bowser's Fury wouldn't exist, and Bowser's Fury was awesome. So, definitely happy about that. Okay. <clears throat> I'll take that. Thank you! So, the cool thing is, flames actually travel through pipes, um... And can be actually very useful in this game. Give me this. Not sure where the uh, stamp is, but we'll find it. Mini Goomba. Get away from me. Holy crap. Looks like something is uh, afoot up here. Yep, there is. 
probably get up this way too. Nope. <clears throat> this would probably been a good place to have the cat bell. But I might be able to still... Come on, dude. There we go. No, I could have used the clouds. Didn't even think of that. I did manage to get up my own way, though, so that's good. Stamp's probably here somewhere. Or it could just be a gold pipe. Also good. Ow. Yeah, I am going to die in this game. Because it it operates on very, very simple Mario mechanics. You have a power-up, you lose the power-up, you lose your um, hat, and you get smaller, and then you die. But there's a lot of pitfalls, there's a lot of, like, spike things. It's, it's classic. But um, you just don't have the inventory you'd normally have that you had in Bowser's Fury. I don't think I can get up there from here. There's the stamp, though. There's the star. So what we'll do is we'll get this. Boink. Not what I wanted to do. Absolutely not. But... Let's kill this turtle, huh? Come on, you. <laughs> and then I see uh, one of the dudes I've played Destiny with in the past. I just see him boot up the Outriders demo, and I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. Damn it, I wanted to get that. Frick. Don't worry, I will be playing that afterwards. I am very, very excited to try Outriders. I've been waiting quite a while, and I, the game's actually been delayed like twice, so... <clears throat> Looks very polished, though, unlike Cyberpunk. So hopefully the demo is polished. Um, the classes look really cool. I like how there's more of a focus on character build, which is awesome. Kind of like, it kind of reminds me of Destiny, but at the same time has a third person perspective. Like, you're, get up there, dude. A third person perspective, like Gears of War, kind of. But you get the, um... You get, like, the skill tree builds of, like, Diablo. Like, there's so much to, like, do. There we go. <clears throat> Wait, I got it? When did I get it? Did I get it at the end there, but for some reason I died, too? Whatever, I guess. Oh, damn you. Freaking turtle. I'm not even going to use the turtle. I think you're supposed to use the turtle, technically, but... Obviously, you want to grab the tap top of the flagpole every time. My buddy's like, did you hook up your mouse yet? I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm streaming right now, so, uh... I don't want to just be getting under my desk during a live stream. <laughs> I feel like that'd be kind of stupid. God forbid I unplug something I need. There we go. Old house. Charging Chuck. Piece of charging shit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Welcome to the Toad House. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Same music as, uh, you know, Mario Bros. 3, too, which is great. But the funny thing is, is you always want to get, like... You always want to, like, pick the... Like, it's not always going to be the small one that has all the goodies, but it's kind of, like, random. But it kind of tricks your mind a little bit. All right, let's beat his ass... It would have been nice to carry more than one power-up, but, like, eh. 
I feel like they should at least get, let you carry, like, three in uh, the Switch port. That'd have been nice. I mean, they made it in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the, um, the Switch. Originally, Mario Kart 8 only let you carry one power-up at a time. But now they let you carry two, like, Double Dash, which is kind of cool. Um, that was something that was added. That I, They could have added something like that to this, too. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Like, having at least three power-ups here instead of, like, um... I mean, I mean, look at Bowser's Fury. They had you have five of each one. It's kind of insane. It does keep it challenging, but at the same time, it's like... <laughs> the game's already challenging, especially later on. Thank you. We got hidden blocks too. It's like, you can already see what I mean, though, is like when I was like, oh, well, this is like if Odyssey in this game had a child. You can see it. That's what Bowser's Fury pretty much was. Like I said, I've played this game before, so I mean, I do remember some things and I'm I'm remembering things as we go for sure. I've already missed one star. I don't know where the heck it is, though. Give me this. So the pipe was right there, so where the heck's the star? Sometimes it's like right behind you and you wouldn't even know it. Like right here. <clears throat> okay. I'm interested to see what they did with the touchscreen stuff, because that was stuff that was... A lot of people were wondering how they were going to port this game to Switch, because yes, it does have a touchscreen, but the Switch also involves you playing in desk... Like, not desktop mode. Um, console mode. So what do you do in that case? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> there are platforms you can only, like, get by touching. Um, it might be something similar to, like, what Bowser would do in Bowser's Fury, where you would, like, um... You hit a button, and then, like, use the motion controls to actually see... ...where things are. Like, you could actually activate a touch control thing with your actual, con like, control you're holding. Like, with the motion controls. The gyro sensor. But we'll find out. Boink. More time, please. Thank you. Boink. Whee! Where's that st oh, yeah, I already got the stamp, so we're good. Level's done. I think it's mostly always three. I forget which areas have five, but it's mostly always three. Get over here, you. Chomp, chomp. Boink. Yeah, I don't know how I meant it. Oh, yeah, you can climb the flagpoles, the cat. I forgot to get to the top. My buddy's PC components just showed up. I don't think he wants me to help him build it anymore. I think he wants me to, like, kind of supervise him building it. I'm fine with that, but... I don't know. I get kind of excited. I get kind of excited when someone asks me to, like, build stuff for them, so I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm like, I'll watch you play it, but... I, I was hoping to put it together and have it, like, teach him, but... 
I don't know if that's how it's going to go. It's kind of disappointing in a little ways, but... That's okay. There are certain things that, like, he's going to try that I'm like, well, you, you know, building a computer is not super hard. It's really not. It's, um... You want to, like... There's certain things you got to watch out for, though, like when you're putting in a processor or when you're doing, like, a thermal paste thing or when you're, like, doing a, um... When you want to work on airflow. Like, there's certain things that you got to watch out for, and I don't think he knows that. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Oh, it's the Captain Toad levels that have five. I remember. There's a whole game based off of these levels, and they're super fun. Um, but we're going to continue on with the other levels first. No, I think I'm just a little disappointed, because I was hoping to help him, like, build it. But now he just kind of wants me to watch, and I'm like, all right. <clears throat> up on plus and hit for the goal. Fill your speed by tilting up and down on the left stick. Press it. Jump by pressing B or down. <laughs> when playing with friends, you'll find that you can turn faster and jump higher when everyone's working together. That's a weird mechanic. Um, I don't think he's going to operate the same way as if I was playing Bowser's Fury. No, it's pretty basic. He can't do super jump. I love the Mario 64 music, though. That's that's fun. Red coins. They do make an appearance occasionally. I think I missed a star, but... I'm getting all the lives, though. That's for sure. <clears throat> There's the stamp. We're going to get that, obviously. No, 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 no. Oh, look. You're dead. <laughs> oh, dude. But once you get something in the game, it's like a... It will let you keep it. So, like, I got the stamp. Don't need to worry about it again. But I will need to go through the stage different routes just to get the stars. So you kind of do need to either die or, um... Just beat the level and go through it again. It's sometimes it's quicker to die. <laughs> Which is, it sounds terrible, but... It's kind of true. No, but this, this does have that satisfying sort of completion to it. Like, when you complete a level, you're like, yeah, okay. Or when you, um... When you pull something off, it's the same sort of idea. Don't, 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 don't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for not dying. There's one. I don't... Is that the last one? It might be. I needed to jump. Damn you! <laughs> oh, he stops. Yeah, see you later. Getting all the stars on this one's kinda tough. But we will have to do it a few times. Good old Plessy. <clears throat> did I go in that little box already? Up above me? I think I did. Go back here. I forget what the slot machine does. I'm being perfectly honest. 
blocks and make the pictures line up, you could win up to 777 coins. You get an extra life for every 100 coins you collect. This is just like a fast... This is like the match up the picture. Kind of like from uh, Mario 3. Yeah, coins! For some reason, I got a lot of coins for some reason. Ugh. Could play random characters. That's interesting. <clears throat> I'm curious to see. Yeah, like I said, you can control your speed, so that's a thing too. I, I keep forgetting that's a thing. Hold on over here. So that's the first one. We got that already. So the second one is going to be. around <laughs> All right, I guess I'll just go screw myself. All right. Here we go. This is a pass through, I believe. Yep. One. That's the second one. So we did get the uh we just need that last one at the end. Plow through all of them. Yes! Awesome. <clears throat> Sweet deal. Yeah, I didn't buy too much of my tax return just because I... I need to start saving for our new house, or our tiny house, and like, you know, paying off some bills until I go back to work and stuff, so. Oh. But it's good, because it looks like we're going to be getting stimulus relatively soon, too, so it's definitely helping us quite a bit. Wonderful. <clears throat> right, what's in this freaking crap? I don't remember. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is a, um, one of these. Match up the panels. I'll take that. Let me in. So many, so many stars in this game rely on the cat bell. It's, it's kind of nuts. Um, the power up was obviously created for this game, but <laughs> the amount of times you have to rely on it are kind of insane. I'm not mad about it. I actually really like, as we all know, I really like the cat bell. Oh, damn it, I'm dead. Frick. Uh, too bad. <laughs> too bad you suck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Not too bad. I'll take this. Just because. Um. Take that, too. 
Give me this. Oh, it freaking pushed me out. I wanted more things. <laughs> I wanted to break more things. Damn you. How about you, uh, screw yourself, Kamek, or Magikoopa, or whatever? Give me this. Where's the stamp at? That's what we need to find now. Hopefully it's near the end. It is. Good. Damn it. Sweet deal. Not too bad. See, some of the stages are really, like, not that bad. Um, as it gets later on in the game, they do get a bit tougher. <laughs> um, the special worlds? Suck. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a fun... That's gonna be fun to stream. <laughs> I'm gonna be dead so many times. Champion's Road, especially. That's the hardest level. Um, I don't know if they added any more for the uh, Switch port, but... God forbid if they added something harder than Champions Road, I'm in freaking trouble. So these are fun. These are a little different. You play as Captain Toad, and you um, go through these, like, they call them flower box style levels. So they're very contained, but Toad also moves, moves like, really slow, and he has no attacks. So it's just kind of like... Captain Toad, fearless hunter of the green stars, is ready for adventure. Guide him safely through the course and his search for five stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take him home. Move the camera, like, you can move the camera to, like, roll look at the entire stage. Um, and just so you know, Captain Toad can't jump. Keep that in mind. So you basically, you're, he's very slow, he can't jump, but the idea of the level is really interesting. Um, like I said, they based a whole game around this, um, Captain Toad's treasure tracker. So it's very cool that they actually did that. I have that game too, and it's, um, I haven't played it on Switch yet, I played a little bit of it on Wii U, but it is super fun regardless. There should be a stamp here too, I think. No, there's no stamp, it's just the stars. That's okay. So, if you're looking around, basically you have to find out where the opening is. There it is. So, it's all about avoiding enemies, you can't jump, obviously, he, he's too heavy. <laughs> Because of his backpack. You can run like a little bit. But he's still very slow. Yeah! They're fun. Um, I think there's one Captain Toad level in each world. Like I said, they made a whole game based around that idea, so... Sometimes they do take ideas and put them in the right direction, because I do enjoy those levels quite a bit. 21... Use right stick or left stick and... What? A? Is that what it was? I got the first part, the right stick part, but what the heck was the other combination? <laughs> I think I'll just stick with the right stick. Uh, that seems like the best option. So we have done all levels in the area so far. Brixie Kingdom. So same sort of idea, three stars, a stamp. Yeah, I'll probably go for like another 25 minutes. Um, I was going to go for four hours, but I think I'm gonna go three and a half. That's mainly because, like I said, there's a new Outriders demo. I want to hook up my mouse, play that. Um, but I'm, I am glad I could come in for a little while and hang out with you guys. It's been awesome. But uh, there will be more of this streamed in the future. Probably, potentially tomorrow or the next day. So maybe Friday or Saturday. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Got to see what the schedule looks like. Like I said, thanks for coming and watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, we're going to go for another 25 minutes, so. 
Oh boy. We did finish Bowser's Fury, so that's good. Oh yeah, I have to kick one of these. Here we go. Stamp. Yeah, if you're new here and you like what you watch, feel free to follow me on Facebook, like the stream, or share the stream. That way you'll know when I go live. Um, you'll also be able to help support me in the stream. Thank you very much. Um, like I said, stars are enabled. So if you do feel like donating, I really appreciate it. You don't have to. Uh, viewership is enough for me. But um, it does help to support the stream. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, Donations are always appreciated, but never expected, so thank you very much. No! Oh. I stream about two to three times a week, retro and current day releases as well, so all sorts of good stuff. I'm going to try to remain doing that when I go back to work, too. I'm going to try and continue to do the three times a week thing. It might be a little hard at first, but I do want to maintain a pretty consistent um, amount of hours. So <clears throat> I'm up doing at least I try to do at least 12 hours a week. It's the Bowser, the uh, Bowser car. I thought it was the train. <laughs> I think the train is Odyssey. But yeah, he's got his own car in this. It's amazing. And the music is super jazzy, and I love it. Rock and jazz and all sorts of cool stuff about this. It's like, oh look, he's a dick, like always. <laughs> but the boss fights are super awesome in this game. I love it. How are you even rolling now? You don't even have a wheel on that thing. Oh, damn it, too far. He keeps throwing the bombs at weird angles. That and it's just based on me dodging. There we go. <laughs> uh, that looks like something Wario would have, not Bowser. Yeah. Oh, no problem, dude. Thanks for coming and watching. I really appreciate it. You gotta do what you gotta do. I understand. Yeah, I mean, I'll be I'll be offline in about twenty minutes, but um, yeah, if if you still are around, then come on back in. But if I'm offline, then you know it is whatever. Thanks anyway, man. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Course clear. Sweet. Bowsy? Yeah, man. Thanks for coming and watching. Like I said, take care. Um... Hopefully the meetings don't drag on too long. Hopefully you don't fall asleep. I know back when I used to be in meetings for my job, I'd, I'd be like snoozing almost. Like, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I think this just opens up the, yeah, I think this just opens up the next world or next, uh, not world, per se, more like the next set of world, like the... Yeah, it would be the next world, wouldn't it? <laughs> what am I freaking talking about? Yeah, world one, so world two is next. I don't think those are ever um, power-ups. I think they're always, like, coins.
Then I'm starting to get a little hungry too, so three and a half hours is pretty good. I did start a little earlier than normal too, so. Nice. Yeah, sometimes you just get a free stamp. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I do, like I said, I do know there's ways to spoof this game. Like, if you... If you're going for 100% completion and you have, like, multiple characters, you can all grab the flagpole and, like, it'll count as multiple characters, but it's, like... Eh. <laughs> seems like a lot to just try and get 100% when I, f I could just do, like, uh, go through as one character and then go through later as another. Honestly, I'd be happy if I could just beat Champion's Road. <laughs> that'd be... That'd be wonderful. Because I couldn't do that before. There's something down here. No, it's just death. That's just what it is. First one. Meow. Get out of here, you. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, I can't climb up there, can I? I just saw there was like a lip. That's okay. We tried. I feel like the cat is a little bit more broken in this than it was in Bowser's Fury. I'd be wrong about that, though. I feel like I could... In that one, when I was on, like, a wall, I could only climb up it so much, and then if I tried to flip over another one, it wouldn't let me. But, um... Here, if you flip off of a wall, and you get onto another one, I th think you can still keep climbing, which is like a... kind of broken. <laughs> which is fine. I'm okay with that. Thank you. I'll be on my way now, thank you. Drink some water, you bird. Excuse me very much. Um I don't really think I need to use that right now. I didn't really want that. I'll take one, though. It's good to have something that does damage. Come on, you. Go. I guess hey, one of these has a green star in it. <laughs> okay, I like it. Give me all the coins. Stamparoonie. He just gives me one, right? Yeah. There it is. You found it. Thank you, Toad. All right. I don't know how that happened, but, uh... I managed to, like, somehow spin around and grab the top. Okay. I went a little bit too far, but it looks like it worked out just fine.
Bowsy. Oh, those levels are cool. I like the shadow level. Make something surprising happen. What do you get, like, power-ups or something? That's interesting. I wonder what the amiibo actually do. I did see there was, like, cat, um... Cat Peach and Cat Mario amiibos. I'm curious to see what those do. I don't have them. Like, like I said, they're, they cost money. But, like, like $13 per amiibo. I think they actually raised it to 15 But this level's really cool. I like the shadow stuff. Some of the level design in this is so awesome. Um, it really is special just for the fact that they had to come up with ideas. And I feel like they worked harder to come up with ideas in this than they did because they kind of had to. Because the Wii U didn't have many games, so it's like they kind of had to really work on the games they had. Because the third-party support was just not there. So I can appreciate that. I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. Yippee! Nope. I mean, you're gonna pretty much see the reflection of the star before you, uh... No! You friggin' plant! Get over here, you. Champa. There's gotta be a way to get in there. Yeah, there is. My question, where is the other stars? If I remember correctly, um, the two that are here are kind of like... <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to do that. We deal. Oh my lord! I almost shot myself right to death. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> Poor Toad. Get it! <laughs> there we go. We're good. Yeah, getting Luigi, like, to the top of the flagpole is a little bit easier, too, just because his jump is a little better, but... Um, pretty much if you have cat power-up on any character, getting the flagpole, top of the flagpole is not an issue. <clears throat> That's another thing, is, like, completion relies on you getting top of the flagpole with the character, which is interesting. Interesting choice, Nintendo. But like I said, I think they made this game for longevity, because you wanted to, like... There weren't a lot of games on the Wii U, so they wanted you to play this multiple times. And, uh, I did. <laughs> and I enjoyed it. I just could just never beat Champions Road. <clears throat> or, like, uh, do all the characters. But still had a good amount of fun with it. You can play this course using touch controls. Press R to make the touch cursor appear. Use it to move rainbow colored blocks. Playing on handheld mode, touching the blocks on the screen, works too. So basically, this is what I was wondering, is that in the original, you used the gamepad for the Wii U to touch blocks. But if you're playing... Oh, excuse me. If you're playing in console mode, <clears throat> how is that going to work? So it's just like Bowser's Fury. You have like the motion controls of your controller, and you can just... um touch it with R, so that's kind of useful. I'm assuming it will go away after a little bit of time, too. 
So it's kind of cool that they incorporated it that way because uh, it was kind of like, how are they going to do it? Which made people wonder if how, if they were going to, in fact, port the game at all. I don't know if that's like a... Is that a death thing? <laughs> Is there something down there or I'm 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 curious and I'm not. I'm going down there. Okay. There was sneaky beaky. Give me this. I remembered there being something down there but I didn't want to just go down there and be like too bad. <clears throat> Okay, so you can just... Give me this. <clears throat> that was the first star, okay. I was like, did I miss something here? Get up there. Get your butt up there, Luigi. Oh. <laughs> like I said, course soundtrack is great. Um, most Mario games are. I just really like that Koji Kondo took a, took a step back for this one. Some of this reminds me of Galaxy as well. <clears throat> Bingo! There's number two. Yeah, like I said, we're going to be closing the stream in about five minutes. Like I said, if uh, if you're just coming in now to watch, I appreciate it. Sorry about, uh, you know, ending it, but I'll be back either tomorrow or um, the next day to stream some more. I need this to move. I could have just hit it to go back, but... <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. It's alright. <laughs> so, I will say that using the motion controls to hit the button, um, I noticed that it takes a little bit longer for my brain to actually think, oh, oh, well, I'll move the cursor to the thing and then hit the button instead of me just touching it. It's a little bit of a... It's a workaround, but... They managed to do it, which is fine. But I feel like doing it fast is something that would not be easy to do. Like trying to really go fast and go click, 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 click is something I'd have to either get used to or not be able to do. Because your, your character's moving and then you're in your head. You're like, well, I got to move my body to move the this. And your brain's just... Maybe I'm just not smart enough, but no, I doubt that's the case. Damn it! I didn't want to do that. So basically what I'm saying is, like, when you're motion controls and you're moving around the cursor, um, you're moving around your character, too. And it's kind of... It's possible to do it, but it, it's hard for my brain to adjust to doing the both things at the same time. But maybe we'll get better at it. Time will tell. I do prefer the touchscreen stuff, so playing it in handheld mode would be more fun, but then I can't stream it, so <laughs> that's not fun. Chomp, 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 chomp. So, yeah, like this. You have to, like... You kind of have to get used to it. It's not awful, though. Like, I'd rather, you know, 
have the port than not have the port. There we go. I still like the part where even if you die and lose a life, you still get to keep what you've collected. That's so great. <laughs> Holy crap. That was the thing about, you know, Mario 64, as I've, if I remember correctly, and I played it pretty recently, if you get a star and you... But you usually get kicked out of level when you get a star. If you get the 100 coin star, I think it saves. But I remember there was... I forget which Mario game it was, but I remember if you didn't... Like, if you didn't, you wouldn't, it wouldn't stick, is what I'm saying. Like, whatever you got wouldn't auto-save to your whatever. If you died, you'd have to get it again and then try and complete it that way. Yeah, so you could, you could just use a touch cursor whenever and, like, um, potentially make certain things happen. Um, I think those invisible blocks, you can touch those and that will do something. Um, certain things. Damn it. Something. Coins. Two up. Yeah. I don't remember if I have to save or not. Save files. Yes, yeah, save. Why not? Yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. Um, like I said, I'm going to be starting... I was going to start this game after Bowser's Fury anyway, so we're going to go through this now and uh, you know, work our way towards the end. Hopefully beat Champions Road. But thanks for coming and watching. I really appreciate it. And as we further move on, it'll be a good time. So uh, if you liked what you watched, you liked my commentary, feel free to follow me on Facebook. Like the video, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. But, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Catch you in the next one. See ya.